All right. Yeah. Awesome. All right. That'll work, man. All right, guys. That was a extremely awesome rehearsal yeah. session. I would say it was extremely copacetic. Copacetic indeed. And yes, we'll have CDs tomorrow available for everyone at the 420 Fest. Oh, the Vega! Yeah. Oh, walk on! Yeah! <laughs> All right, man. I think it's time to ceremoniously burn one. <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, who's got that last joint we had rolled up earlier, man? Oh, yeah. Bow, chicka, wow. I hate it when that happens. We can always get some more tomorrow. I'm sure we will, too. Big 420 fest. Right. Sure. Oh, hey, guys. Check this out. Oh, no. no. Dude. Oh, come on. Oh, it reminds me of church, you know, the pew. Dude. Oh, jeez. What the hell did you eat? Well, I had the munchies, guys, and, you know, I had some peaches and, and hot dogs with some uh, mustard grapes and olives. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> oh. Spark up that oven.
Oh. Hey, Johnson. It's me. <laughs> I, I didn't wake you up, did I? No, no, no. I was gonna get up anyway. What's what's up, Nevar? It's 4:20, man. I looked through my entire abode, and I am completely out of smokables. Do you have anything left from last night? No, 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 dude. We we smoked it all after practice. Remember? <laughs> you think we should have saved any of that for tomorrow? No, no way, man. That was for tonight. That was for now. We can always get some more tomorrow. I'm sure we will. Oh, yeah. Well, we need to get together today and find some smokables before 420 this afternoon. Nibar. Yeah, we gotta get some smoke for the 420 fest today. 420, of course. All right. Yeah, I'll be right up. Come on, let's get going. Come on, let's go, hey. All right. All right, man. Let's hit the road. Rock on. Yeah, the adventure begins. <laughs> Who should we go see first? What about the great and wise Dandolph? Yeah, the great and wise Dandolph. He's always got some of the sacred herb. His sacred herb is always very special. Yes, <laughs> it is. All right, then Dandolph it is. I, I just wish he had a phone or something so we could call him, you know? Yeah, me too, but you know, he lives in the mountains. He doesn't even have a house, remember? Yeah. Hey, are you in the mood to hear the song we recorded last night, man? Yeah, man, I got the CD. You want to listen to it? Oh, yeah, put it in. this much gear every time we go hiking? You no, know, if you're not careful, the mountain will humble you. Yeah, you're right. They've humbled me several times. Remember the zebra fish incident? God, yeah, I did it uh, perfectly. I remember it very well. I mean, that all the more reason to be prepared. I mean, we may look stupid this way, but 
Actually, we're smart. I like the way you think. Let's get packed. All right. Well, yeah, man, for sure. So, I, to Johnson, I gotta tell you, I'm super excited about the 420 Fest this afternoon at 420. It's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> well, yeah, man, for sure. You know, this whole adventure just couldn't be for nothing. Hey, Johnson, do you smell that? It smells like stale cave air and Brussels sprouts. Nothing's worse than that. The, the good old air biscuit fart, though, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter what you eat there. It's gonna turn into some really nasty air. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you remember the pews at the church and the church incident? Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally, man. It just totally redefined the word pew. Well, for the sake of the movie. <laughs> well, yeah, man, for sure. And the sake of the 420 fest. <laughs> And these mountains sure are beautiful, huh? Oh yeah, this place is awesome. We are so lucky to live in a place that has this so close. You're right. You know, some of the people from the city refer to this as a big pile of rocks. Oh, man. Boy, are they wrong. Dude, for sure, they don't know what they're talking about. This is amazing up here. You know, Dandolf sure knows how to pick them. <laughs> yes, yes he does. Oh, I think I gotta drain the lizard. <laughs> Uh, all right, dude. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go summon the great and wise Dandolf. It's time. Okay, excellent. Oh, gotta pee, gotta pee. Keep your pants on. I'm coming. What a noise. Who dares to son of a great and wise tender? You shall not pass! Oh, it's just you guys. So, how you doing? We're doing pretty good, Dandolf. How are you? Oh, I feel more like I do now than I did a while ago. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Whoa. You know, I hate the way that flute sounds. Well, at first. Yeah, well, according to tradition, I have to keep it as part of the ritual. Yeah, it does sound a little bit horrible at first, but tradition is important. Yes, indeed. Come, let us sit and converse at my sacred spot. Cold, Mr. Pointy Hat. <laughs> I wonder how many sacred spots he has. So, my young apprentices, what is it that brings you to my sacred domain? Well, we're some really good shoes, and we're out of the sacred herb. We need some for the 420 fest tonight, man, at 420. Yeah, and we're kind of hoping that you could set us up with some of your excellent herbs. I'd love to set you guys up. Unfortunately, due to the holiday, I'm completely out. You should have seen me several days ago. Oh, no way, man. I recommend you go see our mutual friend, Wendelin. You remember her. She works over at the Air Biscuit Cafe. Sometimes she has access to some really good green chili. Wendelin? 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 I don't know. I, no. Yeah, I've had her green chili. She had my huevos. Over at the Rubber Biscuit. 
Is that that's next door to the Air Biscuit Cafe? Isn't yeah, it? Well, yeah, it used to be until it burned down. Oh yeah, I forgot about that fire. Yeah. But was... listen, listen, Johnson, just just relax, man. I'm sure Wendelin is completely over all that stuff that happened. <laughs> Wendelin? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. And don't worry, guys. If you need me, just summon me with this smaller, easier to transport version of the sacred flute. If you can snatch this from my hand, it will be time for you to begin your sacred journey. Oh, nice snatch, man. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Use the flute to summon me and appear I will. Remember, the mentor character of this movie am I. A green screen have I, and afraid not to use it, I am. Well, that kind of sucked. Hiking all that way for nothing. Well, sometimes we just have to play the cards we're dealt. Yeah, I guess you're right, Nibar. I wish I could be more like you. You're so perceptive. Well, just give it time, Johnson. Just give it time. These things don't happen overnight. Yeah, let's go. Hey, uh, Johnson, uh, have you ever had a, a fart that you're pretty sure is from like a corn dog that's been sitting in your colon for the last 20 years? Have you ever had one that actually smelled like that? No, man, I have a clean colon. I, I have a colonoscopy every other week. Yeah, you're a colonoscoper. <laughs> well, I mean, like those ones that are just like totally stale and just kind of linger forever. You ever had a fart that smells like mildew? Oh, yeah, those are bad, man. Oh man, I can't wait to get to the Air Biscuit Cafe and have some breakfast. <laughs> Hiking always makes me hungry. Mm. Are you sure that Wendelin doesn't have any hard feelings towards me? I mean, it was really not exactly a good breakup. And you know how women are. Listen, man, just, just relax. I'm sure she's over all that stuff, you know, and besides, she might have access to some green chili. So be civil, okay? Yeah, I'll behave. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right, we're out. Hey, Johnson, let me yeah. ask you a question. What do you think Dandoff meant about the flute summoning and that whole green screen thing? I, I don't know, man, but why don't we try that flute and find out? I'm sure the audience is kind of curious, too. Oh, dude. Who dares to summon the great and wise Dandolf? You shall not pass! Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> oh, cool! It really does work! <laughs> yeah! What can I do for you? Oh, mini Dandolf, man. We just wanted to see how this whole flute summoning thing works, man. <laughs> Listen, guys. I gave you that flute in case you need me for some advice. It's not just for idle chit-chat. You know how much it costs to maintain a green screen line every month? Well, a lot. We're, we're sorry, Dandolf. Okay, then. But this does not excuse misuse of the green screen. Now I must now return from whence I came, or all is doomed. Just kidding. Gotcha. <laughs> that was <cool>. Onward! <laughs> Right. 
Check it out, man. We got our favorite table once again. Isn't it weird how this table is always empty when we come here? Why is it we always get our favorite table? We never get like that table over there or that table. I don't know. What about that table over there? Hi guys! Ebar e oh. Johnson. Good, good morning, Wendelin. Uh, how are how are you? <laughs> oh fine! I'm doing just fine. Since I gave up hope. Oh, snarf my floppy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi, Wendelin. It's nice to see you. Johnson. It's been a while, huh? Yeah. How are things? Um, oh. Snarf in my flippy flap. Things. Flippy. Things are okay. My buddy was at the beach the other going. day. Going. Um, and I hope it just keeps on going. Good, good. That's great. That's great. Good, good. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah. <clears throat> what are you guys having today? Um, oh! Wendelin, Wendelin, over here. Green chili? Do you have any? Green chili? Did you hear that? This could be our big break. Green chili. I'd love to hook you guys up. Oh, However, yeah. I'm all out. Oh. It's the holiday. You should have seen me a couple of days ago, though. Whoa! Snarfling me! Rapido. It sounded like they were talking about something of an illegal nature. Maybe we need to watch him, then follow him. Perhaps they'll lead us to Mr. Big. Then we can have a huge drug bust. Yeah, Mr. Big, the musical act. No, you idiot. Mr. Big, the drug lord in this area. We bust him, take drugs off the street, then we get the credit from the police force we deserve. Instead of that usual ridicule about us being willfully dense. Least of all that, we get to be big shots in the police force. No more writing tickets. No, no more arresting jaywalkers. No! <laughs> Heroes! <laughs> that is a major bummer. Yeah, yeah, standoff is out too. Sorry, guys. Well, what can I get for you? Twiggledy, snurpy, flat, flat. What? What? What are you having to eat? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh. Barp, barp. Yeah. What are you guys having? Um. Yeah, just not the gas attack, right, Nibar? No yeah. gas. We promised the police that we would not, you know, eat that burrito anymore after the last little thing. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, and the church incident. Remember, the pews are never, they've never been the same. Uh, can I get the bacon, sausage, and or ham breakfast burrito with the meat that's boiled to aid in healthiness? That would be awesome. I'll have your choice of meat with that, too. My choice? Whatever it takes. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have the, uh, the breakfast burrito with the green chili cheddar and pepper cheeses served with fresh stash browns. I'll have that as well. You might as well get the gas attack. It's probably going to have the same effect. Uh, and can you start us off, you know, with the appetizer? <sighs> uh, we like the munchie platter that, you know, the junk fried? food. That, yes, fried? Yes. I We need it our candy. fried. Yes. Fried would be wonderful. Cool. <laughs> Johnson. Oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna have the pickled sandwich. Pickled. 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 Do you like hollandaise or mustard or uh, ketchup? Crank it up all the way. All the way. What are you guys having to drink? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have an onion juice with just just a squeeze of olive in that. Uh, but just a squeeze though. I mean, more than a squeeze is gonna ruin it. Some some fresh leftover coffee. Do you want that in a glass? You, I'm so glad you asked because, um, yes. Anything else, guys? Um, no, that's fine. All right, well, I'll have yeah. that out for you right away. Good to see you again, or something. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> what do you want? See, man, I told you, she's doing a lot better. Okay. That's windowing. She's nuttier than a 
Pardon my brand extra crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. But Dude. you have to admit she's doing a lot better than the last time you saw her, remember? Meals for breakfast. Shoes. Mr. Marlowe took the last escape pod, and now took an X. Not at all, General. The time is upon us. We must strike the castle at dawn. <sighs> yeah, not uh, too much better, but yeah, she's doing better <clears throat> than last time. Yeah, I don't know. Johnson, I love you, but I hate you, Johnson. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she, she's definitely doing better than last time. Man, I gotta stop having such creepy flashbacks. Yeah, to start having better flashbacks, man. That one was creepy. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Whatever it takes. What do you want? Johnson, where do you think our food is? Whew, man. That was the best meal I've ever had. Me too, man. I feel like I ate like 17 crickets. <laughs> well, yeah, man, for sure. So where should we go next? Oh, what about... Hold on, hold on. I have an idea. I have a thought. It's coming to me. Thought I smelled something. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about Bikini Girl? Yeah, Bikini Girl. I'm ready for a fresh air break. Yeah, let's go. Mm, damn, Wendell, huh? The battery is dead. I must have left the lights on again. Uh, carp. Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounds like they're having some kind of battery problem or something. Maybe we should get a jump. You got any jumper cables? No, I lent them out to some dumbass and never got them back. <sighs> carp, Ola. Hmm. I got an idea. What? Get the jumper cables. Here, hand him to me. Follow my lead. Hey, you fellas need a jump? Whoa. Well, yeah, man. For sure. Who are you guys, anyway? Oh, we're just random customers here at the Air Biscuit. Uh, we just happen to be leaving the same time you are. Oh, okay. Well... It's just a coincidence that we're here at this restaurant at this particular time. It's not like we're undercover cops or anything like that. Cool. Yeah, the battery's dead, guys. We could use a jump. Thanks. Okay. Oh, okay. well... Uh... So, uh, is there anything cool to do around here? Why, why do you ask? Uh, no reason. We're just looking for something fun. We're just passing through. Nothing fun going on around here that we know of, guys. <laughs> oh, crap. We were hoping for some fun and maybe to find some green chili. Well, the, the, the only green chili that we know of is right there in that restaurant. Yeah, 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 and they also have excellent red chili, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, well, I better try the motor, huh? Yeah. Yeah, give it a go. Man, it's good you guys came along. Well, thanks, my good men. Uh, no problem at all. We're just glad to be of help. Well, you guys have a great day.
Did you hear that? What? They said nothing's going on today. We know that's false. Should he follow him? Yeah, and very closely. Whew, man. I'm ready for a fresh air break. What about Bikini Girl? Yeah, Bikini Girl. To the mysterious machine. And nonchalantly. I'm going to back out very slowly because this parking lot is so crowded. Okay, uh, I'll let you know when you hit something. I don't know what I'm going to do about these split ends. Well, I've been using that herbal finis. Well, I've heard that stuff advertised. Does it work? Well, yeah, look. No split ends. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Man, I got a weird feeling about those two. What? <laughs> I, yeah. They seem cool to me, man. They, they kind of reminded me of the Blues Twins. <laughs> I don't know, man. We better stay alert anyway. Well, Alert is my middle name. <laughs> I thought it was Beatrice. No, actually, it's Ganja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, man. Hey, why don't you uh, call up uh, Bikini Girl, man? See if she's home. Oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> it's ringing. <laughs> Uh, n no answer yet. Got the voicemail. Hey, uh, Bikini Girl, it's Kneebar and, uh... Johnson! <laughs> and, uh, we're calling to see if you're home. We're hoping that you might be able to set us up with a fresh air break. <laughs> uh, <laughs> call us back when you get this. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we better stop by there anyway, huh? And hope that she's yeah. home. Yeah, that's it. Hey man, check out that hitchhiker up there. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. Let's pick her up. Hey, pull over. Hey, baby, need a ride? Yes. Yes, I do. What the heck are they doing? Don't know, but we better keep an eye on them. Surveillance equipment, up. So, uh, where are you heading? Anywhere but here. <laughs> okay, well, that just happens to be exactly where we're going. Yeah, uh, anyway, what were you doing out there? It's like the middle of nowhere. It was a day just like today. Along this very stretch of highway. Ooh, okay. I was on my way home from a bingo tournament. <laughs> Interesting. When it happened. What what happened? I crossed over to the other side along this very stretch of highway. How? How exactly did this happen? I slipped on a banana peel while changing a flat tire. I've always regretted it. Don't let this stretch of highway become your banana peel. Okay. Hmm. Are you okay? <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Is there a truck on fire? No. <laughs> But I'm going to get some pictures. Excellent.
Good evidence. What the hell was that, dude? I, I don't know, man. It was very, very weird, though. It really creeped me out. You, you think we crossed over to the other side? Nebar, we just crossed over to the other side of the road. <laughs> oh. You know what that might have been? That might have been a ghost, dude. No, no, it was definitely a ghost chick, dude. <laughs> what should we do? We should go back. I got this weird feeling that somebody's watching us, though. Surveillance equipment, up! We need to consult Gandalf. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. I'll, I'll, I'll stick my hand in. I don't see anything. Was weird. That was let's weird. let's summon Dandolf and see what he has to say about this. That's a good idea, Johnson. Who dares to summon the great and wise Dandolf? You shall not pass. Oh, it's you guys. What can I do for you, dude? We just had the weirdest thing happen. Yeah, we just picked up a hitchhiker, and then poof, just like that, she disappeared. Wow, you guys picked up the ghost of the highway lady. She appears on the anniversary of her demise. She was smoking hot. She usually sends a message to forewarn people of some sort of impending doom. Or something like that. She told us to not let this stretch of highway become our banana peel. Yeah, dude, it like really freaked us out, man. What she meant was, slow down. There's no reason for Johnson to drive over 100 miles an hour. You're still going to make it to the 420 Fest before the end of the movie. Now, I must now return from whence I came. We're always doomed. Just kidding. Did you see that? This might be our big break. Yeah, that's a pretty nice house. They must sell expensive stuff. Maybe, maybe a lot of it. I think we better keep an eye on this for a while. I'll do what, whatever. Uh, you're the smart one, remember? Yeah, I did graduate at the top of my class. Mango come lately. And I didn't. Bottom of my class. In everything. Let's keep an eye on. Surveillance equipment, up. Yeah, what is it, Nibar? Okay, thanks. What? what? I just figured I, you know, I'd save it for later in case I actually have a question. Oh, okay. Hi, Nibar. Hey, Johnson. You know how cute I've always thought you were, Johnson?
Hi, Johnson. Hi, Nibar. Hi, Nibar. Is he in fantasy mode again? No. No, Johnson. Johnson! Step out of it. You're someone out there or something. Are you having another fantasy about me in slow motion? Uh, no, no. I was thinking about my stock portfolio or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Come on, guys. It's good to see you guys. How have you been? Hey, I was doing okay, but man, I'm doing fabulous now. Thanks for asking. Well, me personally, I'm doing as good as a summer brick bacon festival. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Alrighty then. Well, yeah. We tried calling first and we left some voicemails. Four missed calls and 20 messages. I'm sorry, guys. Um, music was really loud and I just really don't check my phone all that often. No worries, Mike. It's alright. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I mean, my phone isn't even on right now. Shh. As usual, I didn't pay my bill. You know, it's me we're talking about, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, if, if I'd only get that check from jury duty, I, I could be able to pay it. So what do you guys think of the backyard, huh? You know, I really, really like it. It's uh, got the conflicting earth tones and the, the primitive motif. It's... Uh, it's very Santa Fe, but no, 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 it, it's a bit too busy for me. What about you, Johnson? What are you talking about, man? I love her decorations. <laughs> come to think of it, Nibar, we should come by here more often. Speaking of which, not that I'm complaining, what brings you guys here anyway? Well, Bikini Girl, as you're aware, our band Fingernail Juice is playing the 420 Fest this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, and we were so hoping that you would Hook us up, you know, with a fresh air break for the show tonight. I'd love to set you guys up. However, due to the holiday, I am completely out. Sorry, you guys should have seen me a few days ago. I mean, it was bad. No, not again. Yeah, that sucks. You know, Dandoff and Wendelin both were out too. Well, what about TC? No, no, not TC. No. I'd rather stick sharp cheddar in my eye. What are you talking about, Johnson? You know, he is not that bad. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> he is a really weird dude, man. He just creeps me out. Well, I happen to think that he is awesome. And I just absolutely adore his impeccable fashion sense. <laughs> yeah, right. He is a real trendsetter. <laughs> well, I guess, for the sake of our adventure, and for the movie, I'll put up with him for now. Excellent. Well, Bikini Girl, uh, thank you very much for the orange drink. It was fabo. Did you get this from Hardmart? Awesome. Juicy like everything else around here. <laughs> yeah, I could drink two jugs of that. It was good seeing you again. It was good seeing all of you. It's good to see you. Yeah, Okay. It's good to see you too, man. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Now we have to leave. Don't back this guy.
There they are. Did you see that? Surveillance equipment up. We're getting close to Mr. Big. I can feel it. Mr. Big, the musical act? No, Mr. Big, the drug lord of this area. Didn't we just go over this? Are you being willfully dense, or were you just born stupid? My father said I was a mix of both. Yeah, it figures. Your father was an idiot, too. How did you know what my mother called him? Valence equipment? Up. You gotta learn how to have some self-control, Johnson. Juicy like everything else around. Hey, you watch this. Two jugs of that. All right, why don't you call him and see if he's got anything, all right, okay? Because if he's out, <laughs> I'm just not going there, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. All right. Surprise! I thought for sure Nick Mac Paddywhack give my dog a bone. Oh, uh, hey, TC. It's Kneebar and Johnson calling. Boy, we're glad you're home. Uh, we were wondering, can we come by and participate in a fashion show with you? Yeah, TC's got what you're looking for. Yeah, come on over. But don't forget about TC's dress code. Nobody gets in without that. Oh, yeah, thanks, TC. We'll be by in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> cool. So what did he have to say? Hey, you think that, uh... That bathroom has a nice church in it up there? Bar, come on, what did he have to say? Okay, well, <laughs> he said, come on by, he has what we need. Uh, did he say anything else? No, not, not really. What do you mean, not really? Well, he sort of mentioned something about his dress code. <laughs> Oh man, no way. I'm not doing that again. He can go screw himself. Not that it would be the first time. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> he is the only one who has what we need. And besides, the dress code isn't that bad. All right, well, you owe me one for this. No, I don't. We owe each other for this one, remember? I mean, we both have to dress in the dress code. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, let's do it. Surveillance? Up! I know they're up to something. Something just doesn't smell right. Sorry, that's just me. Anxiety makes me flatulent. Well, take a Valiant for Christ's sake! You got any? Let's keep an eye on them. Surveillance equipment? Up! Ridiculous. So I took a look at the dog and, and it said mackerel. That's when I realized that the briefcase was full of fish. So I looked over and my fish tank was on fire. Ridiculous. That's a hell of a story. Really nice spin there. Very impressive. Thanks. That's a hell of a good quick draw I got there. Nice speed and agility. Well, thank you. Don't mention it. You, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, nice uh, costumes, guys. <laughs> These are not costumes. These are Tom Period Western clothing. Uh-huh. So, uh, anyway, who are you guys and uh, what the heck is going on? Well, my name is Doc. I'm professional gambler. Well, that, that would explain the ace on your head there, gambler Doc. Man, I'm hit the neck. How you come to red? How do you head of the road? How do you hit the Well, that, that would explain the neck being so red. But what the fuck did he just say? Huh? What he's trying to say was our horse had to take a piss, got spooked by a rattler, ran off. 
We were on our way to be background extras in a western. Wow, guys, that, that's cool. Uh, you know, they calls me Nebar. Yeah, they do, and they calls me Johnson. But you can call me Dick. Nice to meet you, fellas. The pleasure is all yours. Well, we have not had it around before, you know that, partner? Wait, what, what did he just say? He was trying to say was our horses came back and we must depart. See ya. Alright, yeah, yeah, you guys keep going. Just, just, thanks for leaving, okay? You know? Alright, well, good to see ya, yeah. Get off you go. Thanks for stopping into our movie, guys. You're wrapped. Background. At least you got a line in our movie. I mean, come on. Thanks, yeah. Okay, yeah, stay away from Crafty. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's cra the, background's over there. Go right. to the tent. Yeah, thanks. Surveillance, up. Look at that. What the hell is going on? Is that them? They look just like Western type people. No, they're just old West reenactors. Maybe they're background extras in a movie or something. Maybe. But what does that have to do with this movie? The one we're filming right now? Uh... Absolutely nothing. Surveillance, up! But anyway, uh, I'll tell you what, Johnson, you take that tree over there, I'll take that tree over there. We can change behind them, that way we don't have to watch each other. Yeah, yeah. And uh, don't forget to put everything on this time. You know that TC is a stickler for the details. You gotta come to think of it, he is a stickler. And uh, I, I just wish the dude would just freaking get over this fashionista thing and just be a normal person for a change. Yeah, some folks do think uh. he's a little weird, but uh, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. You know what else is cool is that his middle name is H. Yeah, T C with the middle name H. T H C. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get dressed. Yes, and for the sake of the movie, we're gonna go. Jeez, dude, this sucks. Yeah, I know, dude. I know, but just remember that the 420 Fest depends upon us for getting supplied with those smokables, and... Yeah, yeah, I know. And TC is the only one who can help us out now. And for the sake of the movie, and, and, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Let's go. What the hell? Look at that. Is that them? Surveillance? Up. Ugh. I'm about to freak out over their new clothes. I can't stand to see it. Very disturbing. Yet, I'm intrigued. I think they're onto us. They're trying to fool us with those disguises. But we're Cheddar. Cheddar? We're too sharp for that. Let's continue to follow them. Sounds like a plan to me. Time to go get him.
What the hell? What are these local fuzz doing around here? This is our bust. Those local yokels are going to get the credit for our investigation. Son of a biatch. Oh, man, we're getting pulled over by the cops. That cool, so they don't suspect anything, man. Why are they pulling us over? We weren't speeding, were we? Oh, you know me, I never speed. And I never tell a lie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and the Easter Bunny is the master of all knowledge? <laughs> Nibar! Nibar! I'm going to need both you gentlemen to get out of the vehicle immediately. You! Over there now! Where are you guys going in such a hurry today? Well, we just worked 14 hours on a movie set with uh, Ron Travolta. Don't you mean John? No, no, he means Ron. It's John's third cousin on his brother's aunt's second cousin's third roommate's side. Really? What movie? Oh, it's called Wild Frogs. We're, we're actually filming it right now. Well, that explains why you guys are dressed like fashionistas. Vaginistas? What does he mean? Uh, what do you mean, officer? Sir, we are dressed strictly in movie wardrobe. Uh, we don't dress like this because we, you know, like it or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, right. You guys want me to believe you're filming a movie? But that's no excuse for driving 100 miles an hour. You guys are being reckless out here. Now, I know the police department wants the movie business here in town too, but you guys need to be a little safer. Now get the hell out of here. All right then, we're out of here. Thanks, Thanks. officer. Thanks, dude, sir, officer. <laughs> It looks like they're letting him go. Looks like we may get our big bust after all. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Yeah, we shall see. He says, hi, boys. Why don't y'all just stand there looking grim? Come on in. Surveillance up. They're going in. This could be it. Our big break. What should we do first? First, we'll pretend to change the tire. That way, when they come out, they will suspect nothing. Then we can follow them to the super secret 420 fest that I read about on the internet. That way we can bust a whole bunch of people that are on the pot all at once. Yeah, it'll be the biggest bust in police force history. <laughs> we'll be heroes. Heroes! <laughs> 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 Hey now, fellas. What can TC do for you? Oh, well, uh, I'm glad that you asked. We're in need of a, a fashion show. <laughs> yeah, we sort of got it covered, really, but uh, no, no, no. The biggest you got, you know, we need lots of stuff for the 425. You know, super grande? You know, like... <laughs> TC would love to set you fellas up. Yeah. I'll cool your jets right here, boys. TC has what you need. Yeah. Right on. All right on. It's about time. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you get a look at him? Yes, Johnson. Yes, I did. I, yeah, I think 
he should just admit it, you know? He wants to be a fashionista. What? You know, I, I don't think he wants to be a fashionista. You know, he just happens to love fashion. Right. Okay, so, dress code. Hello. Well, well hey man, to, to each their own. While it may not work for you and I, you know, it certainly seems to work for him. I mean, look at this great house that he's got. Mm. Now, I tell you what, man, we should just, we just need to get the smoke and get out of here. I, the more we hang around here, the more fashionable I start to feel. It, it, well, you know, you know, being fashionable, it's not like having the cooties. Or is it? Hello? Hey. <laughs> Whoever wrote this movie so. was an idiot. <laughs> oh. Here you are, gentlemen. Oh, uh, gee, thanks. <laughs> wow, I think we finally got what we were looking for. Yeah. Oh, check it out. Mm -hmm. huh, huh. Wow. Sim it down now, fellas. You know it is a command in the house of TC that we must partake before you leave. Right on, man. Holy crap, that took forever. I'm finally <laughs> glad it happened, though. Casey told you fellas to be careful with that stuff. That shit is creeper. Yeah, I could smoke that whole bag and still walk away. <laughs> Tasted really nice. Very smooth. <laughs> you got some good some good shit alright, man. R reminds me of Wonder Giants. <laughs> Let TC ask you fellas a question. Would you rather live in the ascendancy of a civilization or during its decline? What? What? Now I'm starting to feel normal. Where am I? Hey, guys, should we watch TV or should should we eat first? No, no, we, we haven't got time for any of that, dude. It's like 40 minutes till the big 420 festival. Freaking dude, we're out of here. Get out of here. I got this stuff, man. I think we're gone. Thanks, TC. Did you get a look at him? Yes, Johnson. Yes, I did. He should just admit it, you know? He wants to be a fashionista. You know, he just happens to love fashion. Right. Okay, so... Hello. Dress code. You know, being... Fashionable, it's not like having the cooties, or is it? Dude, I just noticed that we've seen that vehicle before today. Or is it the fact that I'm really ripped and a little bit paranoid? <laughs> well, I know you're ripped and definitely more than a little paranoid, but I'm definitely convinced that we are being followed by that tire-changing duo. Oh, dude, I wonder if they're narcs. Because after all, we were just pulled over a little while ago. And if they're not narcs, are these guys trying to steal our newly acquired smokables? We must make it to the 420 Fest with these supplies. That's right. Don't worry, though. I can outdrive anybody. And I mean anybody. Whoa! Yeah, this 420 Fest is supposed to be super secret, according to the website. Yeah, we don't want those narcs or cops or whoever the hell they are to find out about the super secret location. Yep, nothing can go wrong now. <laughs> oh, shit. 
<laughs> We're out of fucking gas, dude. Oh. Didn't see that coming, did you? Hmm. You know, if gas prices weren't such a blatant ripoff, we could actually afford to keep some gas in the tank every now and then. Fucking oil companies! Politicians! I think they're all in it together. I mean, four dollars in rising, look at it, it's freaking four dollars, uh, four twenty over there. Look at that. <laughs> that was a nice line. <laughs> Right, you better run. Johnson, that was freaking awesome, dude. You see how cool we look? That was just like a martial arts film. We're basically wimps and don't like fighting, huh? Well, I just got a manicure and I don't want to run. Well, what are we going to tell the police chief? Well, that the subjects were able to elude the authorities but we have a lot of good leads for part two of the movie. Yeah, back to writing parking violations and tickets for jaywalkers. Oh, man. Yeah, man. To the 420 mobile! <laughs> <laughs> you can't <talk> it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Johnson, aren't we still out of gas? I had Transpo put in an auxiliary tank during the fight scene. I'll just switch it on. We're good to go. Here we go. Dude, we better hurry up. It's four o'clock. Whoa. All right. Pedal the middle, man. Yeah. 
What? What? Well, actually, what we ended up doing is a show. What? 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 Ah. We saw TC and he hooked us up with a uh, uh, fashion show. Yeah. One of them little... What he's trying to say was... Fashion show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What he said. I like that other thing. Did you get the secret? Yeah, we got the stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, right oh, here. Yeah. Hey, we got plenty of it for the whole 420 fest. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of that California medicinal. Uh, <laughs> now let's smoke this man. Jam. Yeah. You think we should have? Saved any of that for tomorrow? Oh no, dude, that was that, that was for right now, man. We can always go get some more tomorrow, I'm sure. We, we have to for the big 420, 420 fest. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah. We have to, we have to. Need no goddamn smoke. <laughs> Wrong movie. Get out. Hey. Yeah, I'm crazy. It's good to see you too. Yo, empty the. <laughs> what the fuck is? Fucking don't put shit in my head. You can do the extra blue flex if you want. Okay. Kadoosh. You start doing the booby wiggle. Is that the ice cream man? No, I don't think so. Can you real quick? My nips are cold. Right. <laughs> That'll be in the blooper. <laughs> if the guy I'm supposed to be talking to pulls up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the line right.
I wish I could come up with a, the perfect line right here. That was it. You shall not 